everybody, and welcome to session 14 of our microeconomics class. This is our second to last session, and so we're almost to the end. Um, what we're going to do today is kind of continue the same theme that we did with session 13, where we talked about how governments are, are not always the best way of providing public goods, um, especially when specific um, segments of society gain more institutional power. They can reshape those institutions in their favor and exclude specific um, classes and segments of a population from gaining access to those same public goods. Um, and so we saw that with the institutional leg legacies of slavery and how um, kind of people have been excluded from the ability to use government services to build up their own assets. And it's created um, all sorts of ethno fractionalization that persists today. Um, what we're going to be talking about today are a couple other alternatives to using the government to provide for public goods and to um, kind of overcome these these public goods issues and these collect the, these collective action problem issues that we've been talking about throughout the semester. Um, so if we switch to the slides, we'll see more specifically what we're talking about here. Um, so to start with, we're going to talk about this idea of tragedies and what that means in economic terms, um, and specifically a common pool resource problem. We talked about this a little bit when we talked about public goods. Um, it fits within that two by two matrix of excludable things and rivalrous things. And so we'll talk more specifically about um, common pool resource issues um, because they are yet another market failure. And so they need some sort of institutional fix for that. Um, but what I'm proposing today is that you don't necessarily need to rely on the public sector to fix all market failures. And we'll look at that specifically with these common pool resource issues. Um, so we'll look at private solutions to common pool resource problems. We'll look at some government solutions to common pool resource problems. And then we'll conclude with looking at some informal solutions to common pool resource problems that don't use the private sector and they don't use um, official governments. They instead use informal institutions and community norms to fix market failures. And we'll look at some specific examples of how that has worked in practice. <laughs> 